This is going to be a video tutorial on how to create a column chart in Microsoft Word. I'll be using Microsoft Word 365 for this. The column chart that I'm going to create is right here. I'm going to create a column chart that looks just like this one right here. Let me jump over to Microsoft Word 365 and I'm just going to click on blank document. Now to create a column chart in Microsoft Word, first thing you need to do is go up to the Insert tab up at the top, select that, and then on the ribbon, go over to where it says Chart and select that. Now in this pane off to the left hand side, it gives you many options on what type of chart you want to create. Like this is a column chart here. If I select Line Chart, it looks like that, Pie Chart bar chart, area chart, map chart. It has all different types of charts that you could choose from. We're going to go with column chart though. And then above the uh, column chart, if you put your mouse cursor over that image, it enlarges the image. But above the uh, image there, it gives you different option, options. You got a clustered chart, a stack column chart, a 100% stack column. The one that I'm going to use is the 3D clustered column, which looks like that there. And then you got a 3D stack column, a 3D 100% column, and a 3D column. But we're going to go with the 3D cluster column here. I'm going to click on OK. And now the first thing I'm going to do is change my title up here. And to do that, I'm just going to double click on my title. I'm going to put my cursor in there. I'm going to back it up. And I'm going to title it. And now I'm going to drag my mouse cursor over it to highlight the whole thing. I'm going to change it to bold and you can change the uh, font uh, size. I'm going to change it to say 18 point. And now I'm going to change my plot area instead of saying category 1, category 2, category 3, category 4. I'm going to put years in here. And the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to double click down here. I'm going to click inside the box. And I'm going to change this to... Then I'm going to double click in the next box. Put my cursor in there. Then I'm going to go to the next box. Double click in here. Then I'm going to go to the final box, double click in here. I'm going to hit enter. And now as you can see my uh, titles have changed down here. 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019. And now I'm going to change this up here to where instead of saying series 1, series 2, series 3, I'm going to have quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, quarter four. I'm going to click on that, double click, erase that. I'm going to click on this box, double click, erase this. I'm going to click on this box, double click, whoops, double click. Then I'm going to add a uh, another one. I'm going to click here, double click. I'm going to hit enter. And now I want to change my axis over here to the side to make it money. The way you do that, 
I'm going to double click in this first box. I'm going to select it, then double click. Then I'm going to erase what was there. And you could change this to money or percentages or whatever you want, but I'm going to use money. I'm going to put the dollar sign and I'm going to put 2000. I'm going to hit enter. And now, as you can see, the axis over here has changed to uh, money. And like if I go with the next one, you see it ends at 2000 here. But on this quarter two, I'm going to select that box. I'm going to double click. And I'm going to make this one 3000. And you'll see my money grows in the axis. I'm going to hit enter. And now it's up to 3000. Now I'm going to click on this box here, quarter three. I'm going to double click. And I'm going to make this one just any random number, 3,500, enter. And then for quarter four, I'm going to click in the box. I'm going to double click. And I'm going to make this one 1,800. I'm going to hit enter. Now I'm going to go through these rest, the rest of these. And I'm going to add some uh, numbers in here. Okay, I've got that completed now. I've got all my numbers in. Uh, if you were to ever close this uh, bottom box here, you can move this anywhere you want. You could actually uh, double click on the uh, header. You could double click on it again to make it smaller. But if you were to ever uh, close this, all you got to do is right click on your chart here and go to Edit Data. Click on Edit Data. And that restores it. Now to uh, make further alterations to this, one thing I probably want to do, I want to be able to shift this chart anywhere that I want on my document. I'm going to go up to where it says Layout Options. I'm going to select that. And I'm going to place this in, in front of text. See, now I can move it anywhere I choose. I could uh, resize it, make it smaller, make it bigger. And another option I have, just make sure you have your uh, chart selected. Another option that I have is to click on this chart elements. And this gives you a wide variety of uh, different things you could do. The axis here, if I click, if I turn this off, See, I lose my axis over here. I'm going to leave it on, though. You could uh, click on Axis Titles, and then you could add a title off to the side here. I'm not going to do that. Your chart title, that's your chart title right up here. I want that on there. Um, data Labels, if you turn that on, it labels each one of your bars here. I don't want that on, though data table if you have that turned on you'll see a table below your chart I don't want that your guidelines are right in here. these lines that go across here right in here that's your guidelines you could click on this arrow off to the side here and you can change how that looks if you move your cursor over each one of these options here it'll show you different different options you can choose I'm just gonna leave it at the de default here and then your legend is your uh, bottom part here is your legend. If you turn that off, your legend disappears. If you have it checked, now it has moved to the right side. The way to change that, I'm actually going to put my legend across the top under my title. The way to change that is to click on this arrow here. And as you can see, it's onto the right side right here. But then you, you can move it to the top, you can move it to the left side, you can move it to the bottom. There's actually more options you can choose from, but I'm just going to move it to the top here. And that's it. That's how you create a column chart in Microsoft Word. Thanks for watching.